Okay, welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video where you've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail. So can you answer that question? It looks deceptively simple on the surface, but we're going to look through it. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of thinking about the problem. And then hopefully you can surprise your friends with the answer to this viral maths problem. And check out the end of this video. So I'm going to tell you right at the end of this video how many Japanese students around the age of 20 managed to answer this question correctly. You may be surprised by the answer. Okay, so you see the problem on the board. So eight divided by two, open brackets, two plus two. And I'm going to show you two ways of answering this correctly because many people got the answer of 16. If you got the answer of 16, then you should be watching this video to see how it works. I think the most straightforward way, so my method one, is to write this as a fraction. So my method one will be to write it as 8 divided by 2 open brackets 2 plus 2, like so. Um, once you've written it as a bracket, I think it's then fairly straightforward how to work this out. We do the brackets first, so we're going to get 8 over 2, well 2 plus 2 is 4. Remember, if you have a bracket next to a number, it means it's multiplying. Then we do the bottom, so that's going to be 8 divided by 2 times 4, which is 8, and this gives us the answer of 1. So 1 is the correct answer to this viral problem. Okay, and the second way that we do this can lead to some ambiguity. So if we try and do this in this sort of normal way without thinking of it like a fraction, first of all, we do what's in the bracket. So then we get 2 plus 2, which is equal to 4. And at this point, a lot of people follow bid maths to the letter, or they go from left to right and say to themselves, well, we need to do 8 divided by 2 first, which is 4. <coughs> Excuse me. And then times by 4 to get 16. And this is incorrect. And this is why a lot of mathematicians say this is an ambiguous question, but I would argue it isn't. And the reason for that is when you have a multiplication here, you need to do that first. So you, we didn't get 2 times 4, which is equal to 8, and then 8 divided by 8 is equal to 1. This is why when you're teaching bid maths or PEMDAS, wherever you are in the world, you have to be very, very careful that people do not follow this to the letter. They need to think of the kind of operation it is. And my method one is the way to do this. Rather than get sort of wrapped up in bid mass, think of it like a fraction. So even at this point, we could write this as a fraction because when we think of it as a fraction, we should know from our maths lessons, we do numerator separately to the denominator. And here, it seems ambiguous at first, but if we think of it in terms of a fraction, then we know we have to do those separately. So I do not recommend doing question two, uh, the method question two, because it will lead to problems. So hopefully you got the correct answer of one. Well done if you did. If you have any more viral maths problems that you're not sure about, then please send them over by all means. I'm happy to have a look through them. And to answer the question at the start, only 60% of Japanese students of the, around the age of 20 managed to answer that question correctly. This is one of the issues of following the rules blindly rather than thinking about what's actually going on in the problem. So it's an interesting problem. It was viral in 2019, and I thought I'd go through it on my channel as well. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye for now.